Do you ever like sometimes think that the universe is trying to fuck with you? Okay, you've had, you've had a good run, you've had some good luck. So it's time to mess things up, right? It might just be a small thing, but it's gonna really piss you off. That's been my experience this evening. Look at these bean sprouts, man. Seven pissing shops. I had to go in to get those. And not just like seven shops close together. Oh no, no, because that, that would be far too convenient, no. Uh, it's just, it's been so stressful, man. So freaking stressful. I left work, I thought, right, I'll pop into Lidl's. Well, we're having chow mein, by the way, but we'll get into that in a minute. I need to vent. Went into Lidl's, got the stuff for the, for the chow mein. They didn't have any bean sprouts, but I thought, that's fine. It's fine, because I'll just go, I'll just pop into one of the myriad of shops that's on my way home, and they'll have some. No, no. Tesco's, no, you can piss off, not having any bean sprouts. The Sainsbury's on the corner, no, you can piss off, you're not having any bean sprouts, Adam. Went into three Chinese supermarkets up on London Road where I live, no, piss off, fuck off, you're not having any bean sprouts. <laughs> Had everything else, flipping straw mushrooms, Chinese long beans, they had uh, fresh noodles, all look delicious by the way. Everything, yeah, radish, no, no no bean sprouts, you can't have them. I went to the Sainsbury's at the top of London Road, no, no, you're not having them. You're not having them today, Adam. Came back down the other side of London Road, went to another Chinese supermarket, no, sorry, no, no, no bean sprouts for you. Back down onto Granby Street, now if you live in Leicester, you'll know what a trek this is, right? Back onto Granby Street, try the Sainsbury's in there, no. Back down to the other end of in Granby Street, there's a Tesco on the corner. No, f off, you're not having any bean sprouts. Went round to the new Tesco's on Humberston Gate. No, 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 no. Final chance, my final chance was the big Sainsbury's, hum Humberston Gate. And there they were, mountains of them, loads of them, 75p. F off. I was an, like an hour and 15 minutes traipsing around shops for some bean sprouts. So I hope you have a better experience when you get yours, but that was a mission, man. But I do it, I do it for you. Oh, you might notice as well, I'm a bit more illuminated. I finally bought a camera light. Got to kind of play around with it a bit, but hopefully you see me, we can see my sweaty forehead, look at that. It's what Trapes in Round Shops does to you. Anyway, we're gonna make a chicken chow mein. Like the takeaway, it's gonna be super delicious, but of course it's gonna be cheaper. And I'm gonna show you some nice little nifty tips and tricks along the way to kind of get that nice sort of takeaway flavor at home. Um, and we're gonna use one secret star ingredient, which I'll show you in a second. But before we dive in, please do the usual thing, like, share, subscribe, thank you very much. Share this to your friends and family, and crucially, the people in need. Again, this is a nice, cheap, easy recipe to make. It's filling, it's got lots of stuff in there. It's gonna make you happy and make your belly sing. Ah! But bring your face down here. I'm gonna show you the ingredients quickly, and then we'll crack on. I deserve this, this is a mission to make this. Right, quick little rundown of our ingredients. Look, this couldn't be simpler. This is like super easy. What's wrong with you? I've got a ghost. I've got one onion there, one sort of white onion. Spring onions for garnish, you can leave those out if you want. Our feckin' elusive bean sprouts. A couple of chicken breasts. And I've got some noodles. Um, these are egg noodles. What I did is I pre-cooked them and then just sort of coated them with a little bit of oil, just like half a teaspoon, just to coat them so they help them not stick. I used these ones, they were from Lidl's, they were 85p. And of course I've got the soy sauce. We're gonna use dark soy. I had a bunch of it in the, in the cupboard. I use this premium stuff because it's nice. But just to illustrate, I went and bought some from, from Lidl as well. And like that was 55p. You know, cheap as chips. And this next ingredient, right, this is gonna change your life in terms of making takeaways at home, Chinese takeaways anyway, is this stuff, okay? It's your boy, MSG, monosodium glutamate. For you. you know, there's a lot of misconceptions about this stuff. It's absolutely demonstrably fine. And if, you make, if you've been making takeaways at home and you're thinking, why doesn't mine taste like the, the Chinese? Why is it different? Why is it not as good? I guarantee you, it's this stuff. It adds just a bit of extra savouriness to your otherwise savoury food. It just gives it a boost, okay? It's found naturally in lots of things like parmesan, mushrooms, tomatoes, you name it. It's got MSG in it. Factor in the cost if you're gonna have to go and buy some. All good Asian supermarkets will have it. Um, and that's the brand I use if you wanna get a bit of a close up there. There you go. 
Obviously I'm going to add in a bit of salt, but that's it. That's what we're going to use for our chow mein. But what I need to do now, was crucial in any, any stir fry really, is do your mise en place, which is a posh word of saying, chop your shit up, get everything measured out and weighed out. Because this is going to come together super fast and the last thing you want to be doing is chopping stuff and all that as your stuff is frying away. Get it all prepped, get it all done, and then your chow mein is going to come together in no time. So I'll be right back. I'm going to chop all this up, measure it out, weigh it out, all that kind of jazz. See you in a second. And some of you might be thinking, what's the difference between dark and light soy sauce? Well, there's your boy, by the way. Well, basically, light soy sauce is actually saltier and it's got a much brighter flavour. Dark soy sauce, it's less salty, but it's richer, it's deeper, it's got a much more umami sort of taste. And it's brilliant in a chow mein. So there we go. Use, use dark soy, trust me. So now that everything's ready, well, we best cook the bleeding thing, haven't we? Right, so into our wok. Well, it's not actually a wok, it's a chef's pan. But if you haven't got a wok, don't stress about it, okay? In these times, we've got to make do. If you've got a big enough frying pan, use that. If you've got a chef's pan, you can use that as well. Don't stress, don't go out and buy expensive equipment just for the, kind of this dish. Um, woks are very handy to have, um, but I'm just sort of saying, don't, don't stress about it if you haven't got one. In with a good sort of two tablespoons of oil, just plain veg oil. So get this wok nice and hot. Right, as that's getting nice and hot, into the wok with our onions. There it goes. And you just want to kind of stir those around for about a minute, um, just until they start to go soft and they catch a little bit. Maybe get like just a slight bit of brown bits on the edges. See how it's just starting to catch now? That's what you want. And in with our chicken. You can see I just sort of sliced it up into little strips. But all the while keep it moving. And so nothing kind of sticks and burns on the bottom. After a couple of minutes, we're going to start adding our noodles. We'll start adding them in like that. Don't, yeah, I'm not going to use all of these. I've, I've done far too many. They will kind of loosen up. Again, give it like kind of two, three minutes. We're also going to add the salt and the MSG. I think. Uh, going to get my old tongs out. And then just as it's finishing, add the soy sauce. There you go. You want that nice sort of dark rich colour on it, look. I might add just a touch more soy. Another half a tablespoon. And a good couple of handfuls of bean sprouts. I love these flipping things. Even though there's a massive effort to flip them well get them. Hey, bitch, that handle's up. Hey, yeah. And the bean sprouts will not take long at all. Just until they start to go soft. And that was pretty much in real time. You watching. If I'm chopping all the stuff up, four minutes later, you've got dinner. So I'm going to shut that off. I'm going to plate it up. I'm going to sprinkle it with some uh, spring onions. And we are ready to tuck in. Come on, that is like probably one of the easiest things you're ever going to make. Chicken chow mein. Love it. Here you go, have a look. You can actually see it now, look. Now I've got a little light at the top. But is it any good? Let's try it. And a bit of noodles, a bit of chicken. Excuse my rubbish chopstick using. <laughs> Come on, let's dive in, let's just wallop it in. <laughs> it's good, man. Mmm. Tastes just like Chinese and you've made it. Salty, it's meaty, it's savoury, it does what it says on the tin. And like I told you, the secret is that MSG. You're never going to come close if you don't add the MSG. It'll still be nice, but not going to be like the takeaway at all. And also use dark soy, not light. The dark soy just, it just makes it richer deeper, denser, and flipping delicious, man. So do you think you can make that? I think you can. I think that's a nice, easy one for beginner cooks. So there we go, there's my chicken chow mein, just like the takeaway, but a fraction of the cost. A nice big hearty meal for two there, for under a fiver. Great for a date night. If you can't afford to go out to the takeaway, make it at home, you can do it. But remember to share these recipes to your friends and family, and again, the people that are in need. Okay, need these cheap, easy recipes. We've all got to stick together, because this is gonna get worse before it gets better, we know this. So I'm doing my level best to help you, to do what I can. But anyway, enough of me waffling, I'm gonna bugger off, I'm gonna finish my Chinese, sit down, finish this, 
probably have another one. And relax after my marathon bean sprout hunt. Love ya, see you next time.